Hello and welcome. Welcome to Wilcom's uh, video short series for the Embroidery Studio E4.0. My name is James and I'll be showing you today uh, how to create multiple appliques uh, using the vector tools in the embroidery mode. We're going to start. Um, when you're creating applique, one thing to make sure of is that the objects are large enough for the amount of uh, stitching and the spaces um, for the design itself basically and so today we're going to go in we're going to show you uh, in uh, the embroidery mode uh, using some of the vector tools here for the uh, uh, digitizing uh, how to create multiple appliques uh, inside the software um, I'm going to um, navigate over here to the left side and I'm going to uh, I'll use the uh, ellipse tool here and I'm also going to navigate down to the bottom of the screen here uh, to the uh, vector outline tool and as I left click here I'm able now to go on screen and to click and I want to I'll left click here if you make a mistake you can always press your backspace key here from the center I'll left click I'm pressing my control key uh, so that uh, when I go it toward three o'clock uh, that it maintains a perfect shape here circle and once I get to my point to where I need to stop I'll left click my mouse button here and I've created my width so now I can go in and I can create my height for this and I'm just going to go in and navigate up top here and I will stop right here and I'll left click my mouse button and press enter okay so I've created one shape here um, now I'm going to go in I'm also going to create um, a rectangle I'll just left click here I'm going to overlap this rectangle here once I get to my shape I'll left click again press enter here and um, I'll do a square as I left click on the rectangle tool I'm going to hold my control key down and that will force it to do a perfect square left click and that's done um, now I'm going to navigate up top here and click on my select tool. So here I have um, appliques that I want to add uh, here to this particular design. And um, whether it be uh, this or more, you can do that as well inside the program. And so right now on my screen, I'm going to make sure also uh, as I go up top here to my measurement unit. And I'm going to select everything by pressing Control plus A. And I want to make sure that the size here is, uh, we're going to do 8 inches. Type 8.0 here in the width and press enter. And it stretches it to, to the size. Um, if I want to center the design also on the page, I can always navigate here to my position X and Y. I can select this and press 0. Press my tab key down. It will scroll to the next line. And I can press 0 here and then enter. And that will center my design also uh, on the page as well okay now notice uh, here in my color object list the order in which I actually put these on screen here okay once I go in and I activate my uh, applique tool um, I'm going to also go in and I'm going to choose the same order uh, that I went and did this now oh, what I could also do is I can go in if I select this one first here now I'm going to navigate over here to my column. I'm going to bring the applique tool out here as I select. I'm going to use my left mouse button here to drag this out as it highlights the top portion of that here. So here, uh, as I go in, now uh, let's say that I want to go in, let's say I want to grab all of them at once. So I can draw a box around those like this. Okay. Now, once I do that, uh, now I can go in and activate my applique tool. Uh, as I navigate over uh, here I'll left click on the applique tool here and it selects the first applique that was put on the screen just like this okay now if I want to choose this applique uh, to go in and begin uh, automatically creating this applique uh, on the lower left corner of my screen here is asking me for my entry point so I have to choose an entry point that I want to select from my um, that's going to stitch my machine so I'll choose at 12 o'clock here as I left click 
okay as soon as I left click on that location now it's asking me to enter an uh, exit point there so I'm going to exit here also as I left click now it's asking me on my lower left corner here for frame out position what the frame out position is it allows the frame to move out on the machine and stop the machine so that you can place the fabric down so I'll use a um, I'll go up here about about this far and we'll left click okay and it creates the applique as I can see in my color object list over here for that first applique it automatically jumps to the second applique that I added okay and again it's asking me for an entry point and I'm going to choose my entry point uh, here in the corner I'll left click and also enter my exit point again left click and choose my uh, jump out stitch here just like this okay it automatically again goes to the third applique and I'm going to repeat the same process as so I left click on the applique tool here uh, here it's, uh, it's already selected and it's already asking me for my entry point so I'll enter my entry point here I'll left click again for my exit point and then my jump out position here and so at this point here I'm just going to navigate up top here I'm going to click on uh, my show stitches well, I can also press the S key on the keyboard I'm going to press 0 here so I've got my appliques here on my screen but I'm not complete yet because that currently uh, what I want to do is I want to be able to stitch this um, I don't need these stitches here on top these top stitches here uh, they will cause a problem okay what I also need to do I also need to center um, the design here on my applique uh, shapes here right now uh, the white crosshair is showing the center of the design but what that's actually showing is this actually as I select that uh, object here and press H it's showing where the jump out stitches are so it's assuming that the center of this is uh, uh, it's adding the spaces here also uh, where the jump outs are we don't need those so I'm gonna navigate I'm gonna select my pick tool and I'm just gonna draw a box around just my applique pieces here now this is gonna be the center here of the actual applique okay and at this point I'm just gonna navigate up top here here I have my auto start and end tool bar here uh, which I could also access this by navigating over to design and choosing auto start and end okay here I'm gonna scroll over and I just want to make sure I want to digitize my own starting and end point and this is what I'll do when I'm doing appliques here to control uh, where the stop and stop is here so here I'll just select digitize auto start and end which is going to place the uh, start and end point in the same location as I select I'm going to navigate I'm going to click OK and here as I left click now my center of my design has changed okay and so um, and now I'll make sure that I save this And I'll name this uh, applique shapes one I'm gonna save this okay now um, I have my applique here so now also um, if I wanted to go in right now and I need to make sure that the uh, the stitches on the inside here my applique pieces here are not stitching in a satin stitch okay and at this point here and you want to make sure that um, you save that first design uh, to your um, to your computer or to your flash stick or what have you you want to save that design first because you may have to create a second design okay and the second design will be one that you can actually break apart and edit that particular design also okay and that will give you uh, another option as far as being able to go in and do that now with these shapes here on my screen already um, if I want to go in and see uh, I should be able to see a die cut piece of these objects on my screen okay and in order to do that um, I, I can go over or up top here and I can navigate to my print preview toolbar as I left click okay it's gonna bring up my print preview uh, as I get here I'm going to navigate to options and as, as I left click and I want to make sure in my 
print options here for my worksheet type that I have my at least my color film selected and my applique patterns that's very important okay as I scroll down I'll click OK if I want to see what's going to happen actually on, on the machine I can navigate to the next page as I left click it'll show me the production worksheet and show me the color film here which is the um, stitch sequence or color sequence as I click next page it shows me all of my applique die cut pieces here also which is great because I can use these and I can cut these out and use these as my um, die cut pieces okay I'm gonna close this now in order for me to be able to go in now after I've saved the original file I want to remove these uh, stitches here uh, from the inside of the applique I'm gonna select draw a box around these and I'm going to navigate to my applique toolbox here and I have one here um, it's called partial applique and I'm going to left click it once I left click partial applique it automatically goes in and it uh, removes those stitches uh, that were stitching on top now okay and so with that I've completed that portion of it uh, now I'm ready to go and I'm ready to program the machine okay uh, when I program the machine, I'll navigate over here to my uh, object properties under my applique tool here. And I'm going to trim in place for this one because I'm going to cut these out myself as I select. And what happens also here is I want to go in also and when the frame goes out for the first time, I want the machine to stop here. Okay. And once the frame goes out, um, a second time uh, I want to be able to go in and I want the machine uh, to stop also a second time here and this is after the tie down stitch okay and now uh, for the machine as far as being, being able to go in and process everything um, I've got my tack down stitch here I've got uh, here's my cover stitch here okay and so this applique is um, pretty much complete now so in this particular case here also I'm also going to go in and I'm going to check to make sure that the I'm going to undo the underlay stitches for this one so now let's take a look and see how that's going to work as far as the uh, machine goes with the stitch player as I left click it's going to go in Okay, the, the frame is when it does the initial, the frame is going to go out and the machine is going to stop. Okay, press enter, um, start the machine up again. Okay, so what happened is the first time when the machine went up and it stopped, I placed the fabric down on the garment. Okay, when I press go again, it went in and did the mark outline stitch again. Uh, the ma machine is going to move out. Uh, the frame and it's going to stop a second time this is when I'll go in with my scissors and I'll cut around my object here that I'm working with because I've only got three of these to do okay and once I continue goes back in it will do the zigzag stitch to lock that fabric down so it doesn't move and here when it goes in As so and here it goes in and it's uh, creating the applique patterns here as it's stitching around the outside and in the order that, that it was digitized uh, it goes in and it stitches this out so here as it finishes this applique out here and it um, so that uh, pretty much um, is finishes everything here now if I wanted to at this particular point here I can go in and um, because sometimes you don't want the machine to jump out and stop three times because here the colors are the same you do have the option now and remember I already saved the original design so I can go in now and I could uh, click on uh, my objects here on the screen now I can right click this and I can scroll down and I can break those apart okay 
Notice all of the uh, objects here that are created from that um, from that break apart here. Okay, and if I don't want or don't need um, the uh, machine to jump out uh, that last time, I can go in and I could take away the uh, the jump outs for those actually because right now uh, with these jump outs I've got one. two three here so I can actually go in and I can take out some of these uh, if I if I need to and at this point also if uh, if I go in I also have an option if I don't want to break these apart what I can do is this I'm gonna undo this okay so the next step if I don't want to go in and break this apart here and let's say I want to only I only want to jump out once and stop for and not three times here I can go in and I can select combine applicate components okay once I break it apart here it will give me a warning telling me that um, that uh, I need to save the original design first okay which I already have and so I'm going to click OK to verify and you see it still break, goes in and it breaks everything apart here okay and now I also only have one jump out here for this as well I've only got one as I click on the reshape tool and there it is here so now when it goes in and it runs everything I can get rid of that one because I press zero and now I will choose the stitch player as it goes in now it does all of the die, die cut pieces first and then the machine goes out and the machine stops the fabrics down and it goes in and it does them all separately now versus stitching the entire applique on one and then moving to the next one as it goes in it locks the fabric down on each of them now before it does the top row of stitches and this saves time in production. If I wanted to now also, I can also go in and I can reorder my blocks uh, to get them uh, to stitch uh, each one uh, completely. I can definitely go in and I can adjust that as it goes in. And it finishes them off just like this and the last one and this is all done you know automatically using the program and so with this uh, design here actually this would have to be saved as a different name as I go to file and choose save as and I'll name this one just uh, number two and click save okay and that's pretty much going to do it for this uh, class, um, digitizing multiple appliques using the uh, graphics outline tools inside of the Embroidery Studio. Thank you for your time. And as always, we ask that you visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.